Greetings, my fuckers. It is EQ and nostalgia. Please disregard my air conditioner in the background. For that, I apologize. This is going to be a very off-the-cuff discussion about the Trailer Park Boys. It's not going to be scripted at all. I'm just going to let it flow, man. I have been a fan of the Trailer Park Boys since about 2011, which is really late in this show's life, if you think about it. But it had not gotten popular over here in the United States. Uh, well, I'd say before that, but I was late to the party. Um... Trailer Park Boys is something that it, it came out and nobody really thought it was going to go anywhere. None of the actors really thought it was going to go anywhere. It was kind of like the Star Wars thing. Everybody's just kind of like, this is fun, but this is kind of fucking weird. Is this going to go anywhere? And it really didn't seem to pick up and uh, really take off until I think uh, the end of the second season is when things started to get really pumped up and it, and, it, and it went from just being like a local Canadian thing to spreading and becoming a phenomenon. It, it's, it's massive right now. And it seems like success has kind of spoiled the Trailer Park Boys. Uh, the bigger it's gotten, the more it's lost its way. A lot of people will say Mike Clattenburg was Trailer Park Boys. Without him, it all fell apart. I have to disagree to a certain extent because there are some things that happened under his guard that I don't agree with. The whole conky thing uh, is one of the things that I didn't agree with when things started to get a little, a little crazy. Because if you think back about when Trailer Park Boys first really started, there wasn't really anything too off the wall crazy like that going on. Um, and and I think. <laughs> A lot of that crazy off the wall shit is one of the reasons why the later seasons, season 9 and 10 in particular, really just didn't meet my expectations. And um, another reason why I don't really think Mike Clattenburg was the glue that really held everything together is because I did enjoy season 8. Now, this could have been a fluke. Mike Clattenburg had nothing to do with season 8. But I did like the shed and breakfast thing. I liked the honey oil thing. And I thought that season was great. The whole taco thing. Rick, Ricky's Frozen trailer. I loved that season. It's one of my favorite seasons. And part of the reason why it is one of my favorite seasons is it's that season where they came back. And everybody really felt, fuck yeah, the Trailer Park Boys are back. You know, these guys are in control now. And, and now the sky's the limit. And then after that with season nine, man, it just feels like it really fucking went downhill really quick. Now, before I get ahead of myself, going all the way back to 2000 with the Trailer Park Boys, nobody had really done a mockumentary like this, especially on TV. And for some people, it didn't click. Some people were just kind of left sitting there going, what the fuck is this? This is weird. But uh, Jonathan Torrens puts it a really good way. That's the, uh, the actor who plays J-Rock on the show. He said it was kind of like watching Cops in Reverse. You're watching from the criminal perspective absolutely nailed it because that's what it did feel like at first and and some people i've even read uh, from people on reddit where they thought the show was real at first so it was quite effective i mean i don't think most people are naive enough to think that it was but it, it did have that effect on some people and i feel that that really worked it was a big hook of the show and it's crazy to think about it but 2000 i mean guys that's you're talking about 16 years ago <laughs> that's we're we're coming up on 20 years not too far from now of the Trailer Park Boys. I mean, shit, I was in 11th grade, and that just blows my mind. The character that plays Trinity, she was a little girl and is now having a kid on the show in season 9. So it's been around for a while, and not all good things last, and some people have, you know, the mindset of it, sometimes it's time to hang it up. You know, you should go out with a bang. Go out while you're still on top. Don't don't tarnish your reputation. reputation. I still think that there's things there that make Trailer Park Boys worth going forward, but I don't, I don't really think that it's going to continue much further past Season 11, which has begun uh, filming today. Today is the day that I learned that J-Rock is no longer going to be on the show. I had not heard of this. This is something that had come out about a month ago and was a complete shock to me. I'm going to get into the reasons why he left, but the thing is, is, you know, the show has only picked up in popularity. It's only gotten bigger and bigger, and it doesn't seem to be showing any sense of slowing down. So, I could be mistaken, maybe this isn't the end, maybe this is just me being a doomsayer, because I'm really upset about J-Rock taking off, but, uh... I have to hand it to these guys, they're working their asses off. Every time you turn around, there's a new special coming up on Netflix. Then They're doing the season still, and then they're going on the road, and they're having these tours where they do live performances. They're doing all this stuff with SwearNet. So I, mean, I don't think these guys take a day off. Seriously, if you take a look at all the stuff they've done, I they're just in 
full fucking workhorse mode. And they are doing everything they can to carry this as far as they can carry it. And that may or may not be part of the problem. It might be that they're just doing too much and they're starting to really lose that creative drive. They might start, they might be starting to get kind of worn out. And uh, one of the things that Jonathan had said was he feels like his character is good in small doses. And other people have said, hey, why don't, why don't you bring J-Rock to the foreground more? Why don't you do this more? Or go on the road and do that. And his response to that is that, well, I just don't, I'd rather be the character that people are wondering where I am than being the character where people would just be like, man, I wish he would shut the fuck up. And, uh, you know, I think you can overdo something. I certainly uh, don't think that I can get enough Trailer Park Boys. I watch every bit of everything that they can do. I subscribe to Swear Not. I watch everything. And uh, I'm a huge fan. But I have noticed there has been a decline here. Now, to get back to uh, what Jonathan Torrens said, his reason for leaving, is he just feels like, where is his character going to go from here? And he said that he, f he felt like it's kind of been stretched a bit to begin with, and it just feels like, why? What's, I mean, he just doesn't feel that it really needs to continue to go on. If he feels like it's just becoming to the point where it's just repetitious and just not really going to work anymore. So that was his reasoning for leaving. Now, this is not the first actor to leave. If you go all the way back to the Corey Trevor debacle, uh, those two took off, citing that uh, Michael Jackson, it's so weird to say this dude's name, but the, the guy who played Trevor, he came out and said they were treated like shit. Not just their characters, but Offset as well. Uh, they, were, they were making really, really shitty pay. They were being paid scale. They were promised that their pay would go up as things started to pick up and that didn't really happen. Um, he was doing things, he, I guess he was playing the part of a grip uh, and an electrician, which are two things that he really shouldn't have been doing because I guess they didn't want to hire people for that. Uh, there was mismanagement problems that he noticed, people that were working their asses off being let go, so he took off, and it does not look like he's coming back. Obviously, Corey came back, but uh, he's not coming back. And then once Ray took off, they, they just kind of wrote him out of the story. He wanted to kind of go off to his own thing. I think he's a lawyer, actually, which is very interesting. But I was like, Ray, fucking way she goes. I, everybody loves Ray. I say that shit all the time to the point where my wife wants to slap me. She'll be like, hey, how come this is gone? Fucking way she goes. And it's just, I love his character. So when he was taken out, that was a fucking bummer as well. And these are characters, they're not paramount to the story. They're not Ricky, Julian, or Bubbles. But they really matter, and you really notice when they leave. And they're bringing in these really eccentric... I can't say this fucking word. Eccentric characters, like Candy, for example. And then the whole thing that they did with Barb in the Dyke Brigade, where she was just this mean Bull Dyke-type character, going from, like, the loving mother figure of the trailer park. It's like, what the fuck are you guys doing? It doesn't make sense. Um, they brought in the whole Don Donna thing. And at first, I didn't really like Don the weird spiritual bastard, but then he grew on me after watching Tripping with Lee on thesquarenet.com. So that's something that I warmed up to, and then in season nine, you've got Donna just being a raging cunt to Randy, just for no reason, just being a cunt. <laughs> it, it just didn't make any sense, and it's one of the things that irritated me. I'm going to get into that in a moment. What I think it really comes down to is that I don't feel that sense of community, and that might sound strange, because it's we're talking about Trailer Park Boys. This is supposed to be trailer trash, and it's, and it's funny to laugh at the crazy shit that they do. And uh, when you look at Leahy and Ricky, you don't think a community or camaraderie. You don't think of that. But that was really there, guys, whether you realize it or not in the earlier seasons. It was kind of like a brother-sister relationship between the, the powers that be and uh, Ricky, Julian, and Bubbles. It reminded me of a brother-sister relationship. I can fuck with you, but if someone on the outside fucks with you, we need to band together and take their ass out. That's kind of how it felt. It was, a, it was a community. And I grew up in a trailer park. I spent 17 years of my life in a trailer park, and I had a lot of friends in, in the trailer park. And it's really how we felt. We were like a crew. Nobody fucked with us, and, and I re that really resonated with me. I grew up with these guys. Some of them, sadly, are no longer alive anymore. 
but um, I try to keep in touch with a couple of them. You get older, people grow apart. But back in the day, we were tight, and I really understood that, and that resonated with me with Trailer Park Boys. And uh, the cliches uh, of Sarah, you know, the redhead that's got the, the leopard pants. <laughs> I swear, every trailer park in America has that girl walking around. I swear to God, there, there's like 10 of them in each park, guys. The, the Jim Leahy thing, it, it's in every park. The, the supervisor that everybody fucking can't stand <laughs> and is just really not very good at doing his job. That's, I can tell you that's every trailer park America in Canada. That's all over the world. It doesn't fucking matter. Whether there's a trailer park, you have those. And it was a perfect caricature of those. That's what really brought it home to me. I mean, the jokes worked, yes, and it was fucking hilarious. But they had this foundation that I could really <laughs> relate to, and I could see the reflections of it. Uh, the stereotypes... They, they, they were really reflected in real life. I mean, it just worked. It just worked brilliantly. And I absolutely love the uh, the earlier Trailer Park Boys. And I, and I love season 8. 9 and 10, I cannot say the same. Now, when 9 came out, I was hyped. I mean, yeah, new Trailer Park Boys. Everybody's hyped. And I saw things that I didn't like. But I was like, you know, overall, this, this is good. It was, it was, it's good, you know. And <laughs> it's good. Just keep telling yourself it's good. And then season 10, it was good. It was cool. They had Snoop Dogg and Tom Arnold. It was it was good. And then you go through and you watch it again. And I, that's what I did. I went all the way through from season 1 and made my way through all the specials, movies, and everything. And got all the way up. I'm up to season 9 now. I haven't watched season 10 again, to be honest. Uh, I'm getting there. But I'm at season 9 now with the... The whole Colonel Leslie Dancer thing, I feel, it's just, it doesn't work. The whole retirement thing doesn't work. It just seemed like it got in the way. Everybody's pissed off. Don is pissed off. J-Rock's kid is pissed off. Everybody's mad. Even Bubbles is mad. And there's just this agitating feeling. Just this, everybody's just on edge. And it just doesn't work. Okay? It, season 9 did not work. And why I think it didn't work is because let's look, let's take a look at the demographic here, Trailer Park Boys fans. We come home, we crack a beer, we spark a joint, we want to laugh, we want to have fun. We, we don't, and with Trailer Park Boys, we never really seen this kind of drama. I mean, yeah, shit went down, but people being frustrated, like constantly, it's so hard to write. A character that's pissy guys without making it just really obnoxious and I think that that's the problem I think they really failed with that uh, and especially in season 9 the whole it just it, it just didn't work uh, the end of season 10 was depressing and it just we never got that feeling from trailer park boys before we always had that we, we sit down to laugh and and watch this this parody of itself just unfold in front of our eyes and it doesn't really seem like it's really doing much of that anymore it's become kind of convoluted uh if you take a look the production values have gone up i have to remind myself this is that this is trying to be a mockumentary and the only time i really get reminded that that's what they're doing and it's not just a tv show is when ricky grabs the boom or something and says something to one of the uh the guys holding the camera it's like oh that's right they're following them around you really don't get that sense anymore at least i don't personally i don't really get that sense anymore it's like things are too clean and too neat and too nicely put together and it's not just a dude following around a bunch of other dudes with a camera getting into trouble anymore it doesn't feel that way if i had to offer advice from a from a fan's perspective about what i want to see to anybody that would happen to be working on the show not that i have any illusions that they would ever watch this video i would say keep it simple stupid get back to basics enough with the trying to outdo the previous season what's with this bringing in the whole celebrities thing i mean it worked with sebastian bach because they didn't really force it and it wasn't really in your face too much you saw him here and there and then the payoff was with him at the end and that worked but with the whole tom arnold through the whole season 10 and snoop dogg through the whole thing uh, pretty much through the whole thing it just felt like huh it just didn't really seem to work tom arnold wanted to fuck lucy i thought that was it was kind of funny but at the same time it was weird it's like they were there and they just they made the show feel just something was off i don't know how to put my finger on it guys i really don't know and i i like tom arnold i like uh i like snoop dogg these are people that in the 90s who i grew up watching and listening to i don't have anything against them it just feels like it was forced and did not work I have to go through and I have to watch season 10 again. I'm sure there are some bits there that were really good with Snoop Dogg and Tom Arnold, but some of it really just felt like, huh? 
can we just get on with the, the story here and just kind of do something else? Um, I know Trailer Park Boys is essentially telling the same story over and over again. The boys getting out of jail, trying to build themselves back up, and they get caught, they go back to jail. I, I get that. But the way that they did it was always unique and funny, uh, pretty much. I mean, some of the earlier stuff, like I said, about Conky didn't really work with me. Some of the stuff was just out there. But for the most part, I feel like it worked a lot better than what we're seeing now. So just in closing, I'll say I wish them all the luck in the world. And, you know, season 11 began filming today, as I stated. Hopefully they get things back to basics. But now I want to hear from you guys down in the comment section below. What do you think of the Trailer Park Boys? What do you think of the later season? Do you think I'm being a little too nitpicky? Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to rate it thumbs up. I thank you all for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video.